Welcome to a new episode where we decode the mysteries of diet and exercise. It's no secret that there's a cloud of confusion surrounding the relationship between these two vital components of a healthy lifestyle. Many people believe they can pick one over the other. But let's clear this up right now. Diet and exercise are two sides of the same coin. They are not separate entities, but rather two integral parts of a complete fitness regimen. Think of it this way. If your body were a car, Exercise would be the engine that drives you forward, while diet is the fuel that keeps that engine running smoothly. You can't expect to get far with a powerful engine, but no fuel. Similarly, you can't expect to reach your fitness goals with a great diet, but no exercise. Remember, diet and exercise are partners in your journey towards fitness. Ever wondered about the importance of what you eat before and after a workout? Well, let's dive into it. Your pre-workout meal is your body's fuel. It's what keeps you going during those grueling workouts. Think of it as loading up your car before a long journey. You wouldn't want to run out of gas halfway, would you? Now the best fuel comes from a balance of lean protein, complex carbohydrates, and healthy fats. Then we have the post-workout meal. This is your body's repair kit. After a workout, your muscles are like a sponge, ready to absorb nutrients for recovery and growth. And the star of this repair process? Protein. It's the building block of your muscles. So, after a workout, it's essential to replenish your body with a protein-rich meal to aid muscle repair and growth. Remember, fueling your body right is as important as the workout itself. Let's dive into the often neglected aspect of fitness. Sleep and rest. Sleep isn't just the downtime between your workouts. It's an active period when essential processes for muscle recovery take place. When you allow your body the rest it requires after training, you're not being lazy. Rather, you're setting the stage for your body to become stronger. Insufficient rest can lead to a host of problems. Overtraining without adequate recovery can result in injuries, hamper your immune system, and even disrupt your sleep patterns. It's like driving a car non-stop without ever pulling over for maintenance. Eventually, something's going to break down. So how much rest do we need? Well, most experts recommend between seven and nine hours of sleep per night for adults. Napping can also be beneficial, but it shouldn't replace a good night's sleep. Remember, your body rebuilds itself while you're sleeping, not while you're working out. Rest is not a luxury, it's a necessity for your fitness journey. Are you unsure about which exercises target which body parts? We've got you covered. Let's start from the top. For your shoulders, overhead presses are a great choice. They not only tone your deltoids, but also strengthen your upper body. Moving down to your chest, bench presses can help you build a stronger, firmer chest. Next, your core. Nothing beats the classic plank for strengthening your entire midsection. For your back, deadlifts are your best friend. They work your entire posterior chain, from your hamstrings to your upper traps. Now let's talk legs. Squats engage your quads, hamstrings, and glutes, making them an all-around great exercise. And finally, for your arms, a combination of bicep curls and tricep dips can help you achieve toned, strong arms. Remember, consistency is key. Doing these exercises regularly will help you improve muscle tone and strength over time. Knowing the right exercises for your target areas can make your workout more effective. Ever wondered why a diet or workout works differently for different people? It's because we are all unique, not just in personality, but in body type as well. There are generally three body types, ectomorphs, mesomorphs, and endomorphs. Ectomorphs are typically lean and struggle to gain weight, whether it's muscle or fat. Mesomorphs, on the other hand, are naturally muscular and can gain or lose weight relatively easily. Endomorphs tend to have a higher body fat percentage and may struggle to lose weight. These body types aren't rigid categories, but understanding them can help tailor your fitness strategy. An ectomorph, for instance, might benefit from a higher calorie diet and strength training, while an endomorph could focus on cardiovascular exercise and a lower calorie diet. And here are some quick fitness tips for everyone. Keep hydrated. Mix up your workouts to keep them interesting. And don't forget about the importance of rest days. Remember, your body type is unique, and so should be your fitness strategy.